Welcome! Come on in! This is Christina May serving you with a slice of pie. Pie? Yes! A slice of pie is an auditory soundbite to whet your appetite with something positive, inspirational, encouraging, and sometimes entertaining. Today, I share the most frequently asked question when I'm interviewed at my book signings and workshops. Christina May, do you really have a dry erase board and markers in your shower? This question comes from what I wrote in my first book, Life's Too Short for Dull Razors, Cheap Pens, and Worn Out Underwear. I wrote about the thoughtful magic that happens when sudsing up. My best ideas, funniest thoughts, and favorite memories seem to come in that magical shower stall. It's a synergy blend of steam, running water, slow, peaceful motion, and clean-scented products. However, here's where the brainstorms suddenly disappear into nothing more than a drizzle. What happens to all those ideas and comical reflections from the time I shut off the water to stepping onto the bathroom rug? Do they get washed down the drain? Did I scrub them off? Does the towel wrap around my neck absorb all those creative thoughts? I have several theories, but let's continue our slice of pie. I believe in probertunities. Probertunities are potential problems with an opportunity to explore options. This disappearing thought act can be solved. I think a standard building code for all contractors need to include installing dry erase boards in every shower stall. The hanger needs to be positioned to avoid direct water flow and hung at a height where a four and a half to six foot person can reach it. If there's multiple family members who use a shower stall, each person can have their own dry erase board and markers included in their shower kit. That way, when they finish their aquatic brainstorm session, I mean shower, they simply remove their dry erase board and do with it as they need. Dream squashers and naysayers may object. Lawmakers may not agree to require dry erase boards in all shower stalls, but I have opportunities for each rebuttal. Speaking from possible trial and error tests, I may have proof that dry erase boards in the shower are valuable if not crucial. So the question remains, Christina May, do you really have a dry erase board and markers in your shower? I leave that answer up to you. I'm only saying that today, a list of phone calls, errands, writing deadlines, and workshop curriculum are written somewhere. This is Christina May finishing another slice of pie. You can check out my life work and mission to spread sunshine one smile at a time at my website, which is www.gueststarcoaching.com or search Christina M. Eder, E-D-E-R, on Facebook. You know you've gotten the right Christina when you see me in a bright green shirt and a purple scarf. And add a like or hit the following button on Facebook if you feel led. Remember, be kind to yourself. Be gentle with creation. We're all practicing this minute for the first and last time. This is Christina May with another slice of pie.